Hello and welcome to another episode of Motors for the Masses and in this episode we have a look at two modern classic 400cc motorcycles but not in the traditional sense of a head-to-head. -head. We're doing something a bit different. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro and get cracking. Crack. What the hell was that? It was a bit different. Well, it wasn't really very loud, was it? Can we do it again? Oh, forget it. Crack! Well done. Yes, yeah, very good. <laughs> September 2019 we did a review on the special army mash which Mark bought then promptly sold and then bought back again and then we were given the Benelli Imperiali 400 which I refused to review simply because of some supplier dealer political nonsense well we have bought in a just a little bit used Imperiali so we thought it was about time we did a head-to-head -head of the classic looking modern 400s. So, roll the cinematics. No, not today. Why not? No, I just don't want to. Okay, moving on. How about a top trumps off? Oh, yeah, go on then. Good stuff. Okay, well you do the mash as it's yours, again, and you're standing near it. Oh, T! <laughs> okay. Good man, that's yours, oh, that's yeah, mine. That's to fine. me. Thank you, Leon. Marvellous. You can come again. Yeah, you're Where just were we? standing near it. Oh, yes, so you right, yes. One. However, there are some differences. Now, if you remember, when we did the review back in 2019, I complained how I didn't like that horrible mash stick. It looked a bit cheap and nasty. Well, I bought a stencil type mash thing there, and I put it there, and the American star sort of, sort of ripped and torn, and it looks like old fashioned ish, and the US Army underneath. And I put them on today, as a matter of fact, they arrived this morning. Just to complete the ensemble, excuse that trumpeting sounding car, not sure what's going on there. And then added an ammo box and painted it green and the helmet. It's noisy, isn't it? That sounds just like a trombone. It's like someone's leaning out the background. Oh, that video. Oh. It was a video, wasn't there, of a guy on a moped. Oh, yes, yeah. exactly, I've seen so that. Good. Um, and added some bullets around here and then taped them on just like they did in Vietnam! Probably, possibly. This Excellent. is not a Vietnam star bike, it's more of a 1940s thing. I'll do the um, Benelli. Yeah, you can do the Benelli. Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> I love this bike, I'm so glad I've got it back. I'm really pleased. Good. Not that this is going to be biased in any way whatsoever. Well, no, because I might not like it. What is with that trombone? <laughs> <laughs> So we have bits of paper because there's lots of things to remember and it's very in keeping with top trumps. They're just slightly bigger cards. Yeah. Yes. So to start with, he's got a centre stand. Yes, which makes it very easy to have sitting on and stuff. I don't want one or need one. Right. Tell me that when you are forced one day to change the oil on that thing. I'm standing here with my feet on the ground. I've got Grip tea, fat tea stuff in one hand, cup of tea in the other. I can move side to side with my very light bike, which we'll come on to in a minute. Yeah. You can't. No. Right, go. Okay, so the engine. It says here I have got, okay. Oh no, there we go. So single cylinder, four stroke, air cooled. Yeah, same. But it also says 380 cc's on the block, despite the internet telling us it's 373.5. Yes, well, I've got 397 cc's with 28 brake horsepower. Do, which do we believe, though? 380 or 373.5? Well, it says 380 on the block, so I'd go with that. OK, sounds good to me. So you've got 28 brake horsepower, I've got 20.5. <laughs> seems rather low It does seem rather low, doesn't it? doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Um, that's helped along very nicely though, 21 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, so more pounds foot than brake horsepower. Mm. I've got 23 pounds foot of torque. Mm. Five-speed gearbox. Yes, one of those. Excellent. A wet sump. I have a dry sump. Yeah, but they're yes. really, really annoying. No, they reduce drag, they create more horsepower, and uh, that's proven. 
because obviously 28 versus 20 and a half. Yeah, and better is. handling because of the weight distribution. All right. Probably. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. All right. Hang on. This, this is, is a tricky be... bit. <laughs> See, I Hang can on. balance my cup on my leg. Yeah, but watch. This could go rather wrong based on the wind. Hello. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh good. <laughs> I bet I could do that again. No. That was, that was genius. <laughs> <laughs> right, I have a Delphi ECU, all pretty standard. Yeah, I got the same. Uh, 12 litre fuel tank. 13 litre fuel tank. 205 kilos. <laughs> dry, <laughs> dry 205 kilos. That's not far off my speed triple. And it's no. 20 kilos heavier than a fire blade. Yeah. This one, 163 kilos. That's a bit more in keeping with what it should be. It is, yeah. Right, so let's get technical for a minute. Up the front there, I've got normal forks and twin shocks on the back and a bouncy seat. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> I also have normal forks at the front with twin upside down oil filled piggyback shocks on the back there. And, and a little bit of a boingy seat. <laughs> Watch your tea. I'm not, I'm not convinced that's boinging at all. All right, okay. So, discs. Uh, yeah, got 300 millimeter front disc with a double piston caliper and ABS. I've got a 280 millimeter front disc with a double piston caliper, also using ABS. Here Excellent. comes the rain. Ah, uh, be all right. Uh, I've got a 240 millimeter rear disc with a large single piston caliper. And I've got a double piston with a 220 millimeter disc. I suppose I need bigger discs because I've got a lot more weight. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 2.17 metres long. Haha, <laughs> shorty, 2.18. So it's the same then? No, it's clearly not the same. You heard me say it wasn't the same. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's 10 centimetres longer anyway. Well, it's pretty much the same. But it's not the same. But almost. But not. 820 millimetres wide. Same. You still talking about the length? No, 820 millimetres wide. <laughs> oh, big noise, what was that? Right, that's him. No, it's um, 820 millimetres wide. Okay. The same as yours. 1.1 metres tall? Same. Are you just doing that not to argue now? No, it really is the same. <laughs> All right, okay. 820 millimetres seat height? 780 millimetres seat height, C. All right. Tyres? Yes, I have two. So do I. Oh, okay, 120 by 18 on the front. I've got a 100 by 19 on the front of mine. Okay, 130 by 17 on the rear. And I have a 130 by 18 on the rear. Yes. I'm not going to even attempt it now because I've screwed up my last bit of paper. Oh dear. And it's raining. Okay. Um, what brand is your tyre? I've got Tim Sun. I've got Cordial. No, I'm fine, thank you. Tea's good for me. <laughs> this is what I did there. Yeah. Right, okay. Anyway, we're going to ride them. Yeah, go on then. All right, only for a little ride, because they're not going to do a traditional go out on the ride, do some ride pass shots. We're just going to ride them just to see what they're like, and then we'll come back and tell you about it. So I apologise if there's not on riding footage on riding. Yeah, plus we've, we've reviewed that one, and this one will be reviewed at a later date. Yeah, we'll do a proper review on that on a later date. Yeah. But um, we're going to ride them now. Come back in a few minutes and tell you what they're like. So, don't get your gear on. I'm okay. Finish with tea. Yep. Go on then. Get off it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. It's quite high by that stand. Oh, let me. Let it's me really easy to get watch. on that stand though. Uh, 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 yeah. But I could have done that if I was using the side stand. Acrobat. But it opted for ease by using in the centre stand. Whatever. So I'm just going to do a figure of eight in the yard. Please don't complain that I don't have a jacket on or gloves. I've got a helmet on. Um, we're just going to do a figure of eight in the yard just to show the maneuverability at slow speeds. So first on the mash, Let's see how it works here. Very simple to turn actually, very easy to do. I know that's not a figure of eight, that's a circle, but I am going to do a figure of eight. Here we go, there we go. And then accelerate. Right, let's try the Benelli. Okay, so now on the Benelli. Again, 
Now this is a bit more serene as you pull away, not as punchy. And you can certainly feel the extra weight. Definitely feel the extra weight. It's not ridiculously heavy, but you can definitely feel the extra weight. Um, I would say the mash is more maneuverable and quicker. So before we discuss the ride and handling, we're just going to do a horn check. <laughs> oh, yours goes blow. This one goes blow. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, insane. Love it. Good. So what did we think of those? Well, I have to say that is definitely punchier, definitely quicker, and definitely lighter, as in more nimble. It feels lighter, a yeah. lot lighter. However, I prefer the exhaust tone of this. Yeah. Does sound yeah. nice. I like this one for riding, as in yes. it's nimble, it's quite easy to maneuver. Yes. I found it easier to maneuver than that one, to a point, not much, but I still prefer that one. We're getting seriously wet now. I don't like doing wet. No, no, we're wet. Let's move in, move in, move in. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Coming in, I don't do wet. Oh my God, Start stands down. <laughs> So now we are out of the rain. <laughs> um, yeah, I prefer the look of that one. Uh, this has a I want to be a Royal Enfield yeah. bullet kind of uh, vibe about it. Don't get me wrong, I love this because I think it's brilliant. It's just this so retro and army and just brilliant. But I really do quite like that. Which, funnily enough, you said I would. Yeah, yeah. I thought you would, mm. simply because I think you'll find the seat height too high in comparison to the bars, where to me that feels very army-esque. I didn't have any issues with that at all. Do you not? Nope. I Riding position on both was brilliant. In the last video you complained about it. I think I may have done, but I've, I now ride different bikes. Yeah, true. So, I mean, with this, I like the way it feels. It feels nice to ride, it's quite comfortable, the seat is definitely more comfortable. Yes. Definitely, it's Although softer. This springiness is way better um, on this and one. And you are in the bike more than on it with that one. Yeah. Um, but I just, I love the whole collection of, because it, it doesn't just look like an army bike, it feels like you ride an army bike. Yeah. It's, I get that it's not like a traditional Harley or a traditional Triumph from the British or American army. I get that. And I'm, I'm sure they rode absolutely bloody awfully. <laughs> but... As a modern version of it, I think it's done superbly well. Really, yeah. really good. But just to recap, in case I didn't say anything about it, it was just riding around the yard when we got back from our out and about. Um, it was so easy to just turn around in the tight spot at the end here where your truck's in the way. That one was okay, it was fine. I just felt this one was slightly easier to do the same thing. Yeah, out on the road though, um, I had no problems with either of them, to be honest. No, I didn't. Um, this one definitely pulled away a lot quicker. Yeah. Significantly quicker. Um, but this one... The, the, weight. the thing is, they're, they're not fast-ridden bikes. They are classic bikes, so you don't ride them fast anyway. They're for pottering, aren't they? They are pottery bikes. Exactly that. I don't mean pottery as in they're made of um, <laughs> porcelain or anything like that. Um, but it does feel like a classic bike in the way that you don't ride it fast. It's not get away from the lights as soon as possible. It's all very subdued and relaxed and it is. serene. It works for what it is. Yeah. It's not underpowered for what it is. But out of the two, it feels underpowered. I think it's the weight. If and the fact that it's got that... eight horsepower less. Well, that as well. If you had to lop some of that weight away, I mean, it's obviously in the frame, I guess, and that monstrous exhaust. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the exhaust is sizable, but it sounds good. Yeah. If you want that sound on that, that should sound better. The sound of that is okay. I wonder if it's because you've got the, not the good twin enough, kind of pea shooters. Instead yeah. of the one just needing a pilot light and you've got a flame frail going on there. <laughs> it's awesome. And this one has got heated grits, which is an aftermarket fitment. It's not standard on this bike. I do want to point that out. This one's got uh, hockey stick wrap which is also off to market. <laughs> it does look quite good though, it's sort of in keeping. Indeed, yes. That one has a better horn. Um, yes. I, I, I enjoy riding that one more because of what it is. Yeah. Not because it's a better ride, I will point out, and as an everyday ride. That's probably more comfortable. Smiles per hour 
that one. Yeah. Uh, rideability, this one. More comfortable. It's definitely more comfortable. I think the extra weight as well, when you're cruising, it just, I don't know, it just feels good in the corners. It's, I mean, it's still good, but... I mean, don't get me I've wrong, it's not ugly. Bikes. No, no. Not by a long shot, but it's... it's and it, it does look good in its own right. Um, and I do like these Benelli clocks. I like the way yeah, they're, they're cool, they're these twin they? shocks. Um, that's my biggest complaint on that. Yeah. For this style of bike, it should not have a digital dash. It yeah. should have an analog dash. Why they put digital on there, I really don't know. It's pointless. It's stupid. I mean, it works. It's visible. It works. It's visible, but it just... It's, it's the really only thing on the bike. It is completely not in keeping with the style. Yeah. It's just wrong. Whereas this, they've got it right. The classic, I mean, that's the thing. The classic style goes from start to finish with this all the way through. Yeah. Um, and it goes with that apart from this bloom and dash. I really wish they hadn't have done that. Benelli, being traditionally Benelli, is very well built. It feels solid. And I don't just mean that due to the weight. It's extremely well put together. I, I'm... You know, I can't fault it at all. And to be fair, I can't fault well, either of them. That said, this, this is very well put together as well. Mash have always been uh, very well built bikes as well. Um, my dad's got a Mash 400. Uh, my brother has got uh, the Mash 400 as well. Uh, he had the 125, sorry. He's yeah. now got a Triumph Bonneville America, but we'll gloss over that. <laughs> With a very, very quiet exhaust. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, machine. Funny. Yeah. Waffling now. Let's move on to the price. So, how much is this? Well, when it was new, it was £4,799, or £4,700, but that was before we added all the racks and stuff like that, so it was pretty much five grand, all told. Um, having said that, there's only five ever in Britain, and only 200 ever made, so as far as I'm concerned, it's priceless. Yeah. Especially as I'm never getting rid of it now. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Probably. Maybe. The Benelli, on the other hand, new, is 3699 on the road with a two-year parts and labour warranty. A grand less. Yeah. A significant. That is a lot of difference. It is. For fairly similarly Fairly bikes. comparable. For a little bit of extra nippiness and the look. It's another ground. Well, it depends what you're into. You might I mean, prefer that. the look of that to this. It depends yeah. who you are. I mean, you obviously like this more. I love this, but I think I prefer that. Okay. Well, let us know in the comment section below which you prefer. Do you have one of these Benelli's? What do you think of it? Do you have a mash? Be nice to know if you do have one of these. I think someone commented on our last video we did on this a year ago that they have ordered one. Do you still have it? Are you watching this video? If not, talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> just out of curiosity, that one being just a little bit used, how much? Yeah, this one has only done 165,000 miles. It was bought no, by... It hasn't. 165? That's what I just said. You said 1,000. Did I say 160,000 miles? 165,000 miles. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really. I apologise. It's done 166 miles. It's one owner from New, um, a lady that bought it. She's had it a year, but she works offshore or on a boat in the middle of nowhere. Um, so she just hasn't used it very much and just decided after a year, there's no point having it. So this one is used, but it is for sale. If you want to find out how much, pop along to the link in the description below to the U section of Lightning Storm Motorcycles and have a look. This could be yours. That can't. Everything's possibly. got a price. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> this makes six bikes. Seven But Oh, God, I'll, I'll give up. Um, anyway, that brings us to the end of this episode of Boats for the Masses. We hope you enjoyed it. This very different style video. And as we said earlier, we will be bringing a full review on this at a later date. So, that just remains for me to say. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video and... Smash the bell! Smash. Or ring it. Or... Oh no, just press that bell Smash thing. that like button, as oh, yeah, they traditionally that, yeah. say, and click the bell. Whatever. But the bell will notify you of any videos that we upload. Okay. So that's good. You've ruined it now. No, it's fine. Right, so until next time, please ride and drive carefully. But have fun! Oh yeah, bye. In this lovely weather yeah, we're having. You've ruined it. Marvelous. You've ruined it. <laughs> hey, check this out. <laughs> I can do that too. 
really have the same does gusto, does it? Sounds like a 1965 Mini. Yeah. Excuse me, coming through. <laughs> Why am I holding a clutch every time? I <laughs> don't know. Oh, I'm going to give up. Oh, time to go home has been a long day. It's not raining now. I might go home on that. It's running a little bit. Give the truck here. What do you reckon? Let us know in the comments section. Oh, they've gone. They've gone and they don't really care because <laughs> you would have already ridden it by the time they've got to the comments. Yeah. Find out in the comment section below whether I rode it home or not. Yeah, just ask the question. Do you care? Probably not. Right, come Someone on. will. Someone will care. Get off. You're staying in my seat.